This is John and Lawrence Illman. I've already done this video, but I didn't have my camera set up right, so you didn't see what I was talking about. So here's the deal. Um, I got a viewer whose igniter went out on his heater, and uh, he wants to know how he can light it from underneath like I said I could do on mine. So I'm here to show everybody. What you have to do to ignite your pilot light on this thing, this has the word pilot on here and you set it on its mark. And you keep this button, you push this button down and keep it down. It'll let the gas flow through where the, the pilot light's supposed to be at. This button here has a battery in it and when you press it down, it'll make sparks above your uh, pilot tube where your pilot light's supposed to be at. You'll create a pilot light. But the sad thing is, is you gotta keep this Whenever you get your pilot light going, you can let go of the button that has the battery in it. But the big knob up here, you have to keep it pressed down because there's a temperature device in here. It's right in the flame. And it has to get heated up for a certain amount of time to get to a certain temperature so that it'll let the gas continue to flow through the pilot light and the rest of the device. If you don't have it down long enough, uh, the pilot light will go out. If there's something wrong, uh, no matter how long you have that pilot light button down and the pilot light's going, as soon as you let go, it'll go out. As long as there's nothing wrong, this is how it's supposed to go that I know of. So, I like to use my barbecue grill lighter. But I didn't look for it because I, I wasn't planning on lighting this. I was just going to show you how to light it. Okay, so now I'm going to try to get the camera set up correctly so you can see what I'm talking about for lighting underneath. It should be pretty good. Um, yeah, that should be it. Okay. For my heater, this tube here is where the pilot light gas is going through. Now, you see this black cord here? There's this white stick looking thing there. That white stick looking thing has a little metal bar coming out of it in front of this pipe here it's right in front of it so when you uh light the pilot light you know in front of this bar here where this thing here is sticking out whenever you light it um this here's a temperature device thing that will allow the pilot light to continue to, to burn and allow the rest of the machine to do its job now oh here we go you can see the pilot light up there right now, right behind this wrench. <laughs> if I had my barbecue lighter, I would go up in here like this and ignite it right there. And you see where all these flames are at, well, these gas, you know, natural gas flames are at. They wouldn't be there when I'm doing this. But I could just want to ignite it. But here's the problem, though, is while I'm doing that, I have to be up there holding down that button where, on the pilot light setting so that way the gas will flow through. Otherwise this ain't going to work. So you'll be sitting on this, I'll be sitting on the side of this having the, the lighter ready to pull the trigger to get, get to light that pilot light. I'll reach up with my other hand, keep the pilot light button down and the gas will flow through and then I, you know, I light it and get it lit. Remove my lighter, but keep the pilot light button down and let that stay lit for about 30 seconds, you know, with the button down. And as long as everything is okay, as I go with that button, it pops up, the pilot light should stay lit. And then I can just turn that big knob to whatever setting I want. And I've only had to set it up to two. That's it. There's zero through nine, and the hottest setting I've ever kept it on was two, right in the center. And, uh, if I ever go higher than that, oh man, this place will sweat you out. Even on three. I put it on, th my nephew put it on three one time. And he forgot to take it off. And I came home, it's like, man, why is my house so hot? <laughs> he said, oh, I forgot I put it on that. He was playing video games, so he didn't even notice. I'll move the camera around a little bit so you can see what's underneath here. This here, I believe it was a temperature gauge thing that there's a digital readout on top that'll tell you 
what the temperature is around this heater. Not in the room, but around the heater itself. I'm like, yeah, fat lot of good that does me. Okay, so, um, you see this bracket here? And all the screws and everything? I will not mess with it. I've never messed with it. I've never had anything go wrong, and I'm not messing with it as long as everything's all right. Okay. Well, this is John in Lawrenceville. I hope this helped whoever could use the help. I hope it helped them out. Uh, as long as you can find your gas line, it's usually going to go in the center of the, of the heater. As long as you can find these, where, where this wire here crosses with this one, you know, where they connect. Okay. You can almost, I can almost see it myself, so maybe you can see it. Okay, you see where the, the end of that white cigarette butt looking thing is? There's like a little st wire sticking out. You, I can see it. It's like white. Oh, ashy white. That there is the temperature device that allows your pilot light to continue to stay lit. So if you see something like that, standing in front of a tube like this, then you'd be pretty sure that's your pilot light tube. Uh, and then you can continue on. You know, you can light it up and get her going. So if anyone has any comments, suggestions, or questions, uh, please feel free to send them to me. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe. Thank you.